Sierra Turbines is a startup. We were founded in 2017, not far from the Vela headquarters. Uh, we saw an opportunity to work on small micro turbines for a whole host of applications. Uh, we're focused on, on unmanned systems, but we're also interested in ground-based uh, applications where power density is a, is a critical factor. This small category of, of microturbine, you know, the what we call the service interval, the time between overhauls, has been hamstrung by the materials. And so Haster X is a material that our engineers have worked with. We understand how that material works for improving the service life of these gas turbines. And so the current turbines today, these small turbines, have a service interval that's measured in tens of hours. And so we intend to bring that up to, you know, the commercial level of, you know, at least 3,000 hours between overhaul. And so that's, that's the point number one, the time between overhaul. You know, a 40x improvement over what's possible today. And so Point number two is power density. And so we see this as a solution for uh, competing against both fuel cells and batteries. And so we are a 10x in terms of power density uh, compared to, to batteries or even fuel cells. And so what that will allow you to do is you know, take your drone that is limited to 30 minutes and now you can fly for three hours. So that's the 10x in terms of power density of you know, 200 watt hours for batteries compared to 2000 watt hours for uh, a turbo generator. And for weight savings, you know, we've really, this is where we've really embraced additive manufacturing. And so we've been able to combine over 61 sub-assemblies into one. You know, in particular, the work that we did with both Velo and, and Topology, our fuel injection ring, you know, has saved on 17 different sub-assemblies. And so, you know, what we've seen is that we've been able to cut the weight by 50% by consolidation of parts and, and really embracing, you know, the, the intricate features of design for additive manufacturing. The, the field of microturbines, the critical need is, is manufacturability. And so to address some of the shortcomings of you know, density, we aim to use additive manufacturing you know, in a capacity that it was really intended for. Additive manufacturing has actually been uh, used in the aerospace industry for almost over a decade now. And, and as I mentioned, our team has familiarity with that aspect of additive manufacturing for low volume, uh, high critical applications. And so we see you know, that ability has never been tried at this level before. And so that's what we want to embrace you know, with our design. So we believe we have a design that you know, takes into account all of the benefits of additive manufacturing. At Velo 3D, we enable you to produce the most challenging geometries with uncompromised quality. There's a natural tension that resides between design and manufacturing. The designer wants the, the thinnest walls, the smoothest surfaces as they chase down the performance of the engine and lower the weight. On the other hand, manufacturing is worried about the manufacturability of the part, the producibility and, and the cost out. With Velo 3D's support-free processes, this means fewer design constraints and really allows you to produce the geometry that you need to meet your customer's spec. In the case of Sierra Turbines, this part would have been completely solid full of supports. However, with Velo 3D's suite of support-free processes, we're able to produce this part with no supports on the inside, which means a, a very easy to manufacture part as you print and cut it off the build plate without the supports being removed on the inside. Really, at the end of the day, this enabled Sierra Turbines to have a manufacturable solution while at the same time meeting the customer spec. So yes, the, the next steps are really to do hot testing of the static core. We really want to see how the Hastex handles uh, hot corrosion and also the creep characteristics of the Hastex material. So that's a very critical piece for the immediate next steps. You know, after that, we're 
going to be printing the rotating parts and we're really looking forward to that one because these are, are highly stressed parts for which uh, you know there's been some skepticism as to you know the properties of of 3D printed turbines and so we're really looking forward to that towards getting the engine up and running.